All right. So today, your boy's back. Got a paper plate. We finally decided to put some plates was a little bit too uh too dangerous for you know real plates. They didn't want to scratch them up. So I just put out this paper plate. You know, randomly. Look at that. Light contrast is having a panic attack, and it's for some reason. It says it's focusing right here, which is concerning. All right. Nevertheless, okay. Apparently, it likes it more here. All right. The further up in the picture this plate is, the more it likes it. All right. Perfection. Chef's kiss. All right. It's actually not too far from the table, but it looks like quite a distance. Just like how my hand looks a lot bigger than it is in real life. This tripod is really uncomfortable to work with, <laughs> and I've been fumbling with it for the past 15 minutes. But I'm a perfectionist, and it must be perfect. All right, so we got this cheese. We can just I'm gonna bring it down further. Right now, I'm actually watching the recording actively instead of paying attention on opening this beautiful, beautiful stick of. Cheese. Now, if we want, guys, we may need to take out another stick of cheese. And, you know, this video gets, I don't know, 10k views. I don't know. Yeah. This video gets 200 views. I will do a face reveal on camera and eat some cheese. Okay. So, first things first. Let's do the introduction of the tools we're going to be using today. We're going to be using a really old mom kind of like chocolate bar thing. I don't know what to call it, but the camera also decided to fluctuate the brightness, which is great. So anyway, this little thing right here, this is a tripod. It's actually a Logitech camera. And if you'll look down, you can see my feet, but most importantly the tripod, and if you'll look back up again, you can see this. I think it's like the blue table provides weird contrast lighting, but anyway, we're going to be using this, we're going to be using this, we're going to be using this, I'm kidding, no, this is going right in the garbage can, that hurt because I had a cut, and I kind of need the garbage can closed, all right. And we, we can kind of maybe sound that out, but uh, we got this little thing. Uh, yeah, we have this. It's a uh, katana, if you couldn't tell, but it's plastic because you know, either we don't have a SFX budget or we just don't have the kind of budget for that. Plastic katana it is. Alright. So, we have this special item. That you can probably, I already know what it is. But, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So yeah, we're going to need two sticks of cheese for this. But, you know what, never mind. We're getting rid of this thing. Three items is enough. I'm just going to be trying to cut cheese with this thing. Oh god, this is harder than I thought. Hold on. Right now, I'm not really trying to cut it. I'm trying to get that, like, red look. I don't think you guys see it at all. It's really hard to see. But, if we don't cut it with the plastic katana, I will be able to eat it. Okay. We just gotta make it through this. Ah, oh, God. Why? How, how is this such a hard process? All right, you know what? Let's just let's just call it cut. I know I normally don't give up on things. You know what? I got a reputation to uphold. You guys want to see a video? There you go. It's cut perfectly and nicely. And my computer's really close to this, so I don't want to get it all cheesy. So I'm gonna push that over a bit. Okay. okay. This thing. What are we gonna do with this cheese? 
We're gonna put it away. Get away from me, cheese. Alright, now we got this. So, this thing, this one tool, squeeze it a bit, squeeze it a little more, cast it off to the side. Alright, now we're gonna be cutting it with the katana. Now, this is probably a bigger deal because plastic edge, so. It's gonna take a while, but fast enough to move that I feel like this is more just like kind of irritating the cheese, if you will. So we're gonna try to get a nice cut in here and put down. And uh, while we're doing this, um, I'd like you guys to mark. Or put right down in the comments. What do you want to see get cut with cheese next? Because, and I'm not so for cheeses. It just shows how hard I'm working to cut cheese for you people. You sick sociopaths. Like watching a child cut cheese. This is such a waste of time. The problem is this katana is bending! It's going bendy on me! Like, look! This katana has three different angles you can go to. So you gotta put your finger on it like that. You gotta make sure you keep your finger on it or else it'll snap. Eh! There we go. That's good enough for me. And then we just... Mm. I'm gonna cut cheese. I'm pretty sure this is good now. Ugh, I gotta use it to film the fast and the furious. Alright, got all that cheese off. I'm gonna unsheath this or sheath this dangerous beast. Alright. Now I'm gonna get rid of this little portion here. Readjust the cheese for the second time in this video. And we're going into Big Mama! Yes, we actually brought a knife. Now, one of my ideas for this, because I didn't want to use a real knife, was to use a cheese knife. I was like, well, that's an unusual object to cut cheese with. And then I remembered, what the hell am I doing? That's a cheese knife! And I'm cutting cheese. I kind of forgot the similarity there. So right now, I feel like a chef in a kitchen, like a sous chef, cutting up the cheese garnish. Now make sure the cheese garnish is nice and chopped up to go along with order 8,476. Salad. Alright, I'm gonna clean this up a bit, and I think that's just about gonna wrap it up. Uh, nope, that's not gonna wrap it up. I feel like you guys need to be a part of this process. And I'm gonna watch you sharpen it. You know what? Cutting up the back a little bit. Okay, I'm bored of that. Okay, I'm gonna put this back before my parents kill me for taking out a knife. And I'm going to go read an upside collection. So, I'll see you guys in the next really low quality video.